Well, it's a brand new day and a good one to welcome you to the very first edition of the TVC Breakfast on Saturday. We're here to bring you all the exciting news in the world of entertainment, sports and current affairs so you won't miss a beat. But from now on, we'll be live on your screen every Saturday from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. bringing you a blow-by-blow -blow account of all the juicy stories and trending issues both within and outside Nigeria. But not just that, the menu will also include news from the world of entertainment and sports, which will form a major part of our weekly servings for you. Well, your weekend is about to get even brighter and start on a very, very exciting note. Welcome to TVC Breakfast on Weekends. I'm Emmanuel Akindubu. I've got the beautiful Kemi Foladeyemo as my co-host. Good morning, Kemi. Emmanuel, good morning. It's uh, definitely good to be here. Uh, and, um, you know, this is you know, something that I'm sure we do not take lightly. And, you know, just to add to all that you have said, you know, this uh, program is going to be a show like none other. Uh, when you look at the blend of, um, you know, compelling, uh, trending news uh, in addition to, um, you know, content uh, from diverse personalities within the program, in-house and, of course, you know, from outside, uh, you know, this, um, this studio is going to be definitely bound to be a jolly good ride. A jolly good ride it promises to be and our viewers would be expected to enjoy every part of this ride as we get your weekend started on a cheerful note. Well, of course, uh, it's a very interactive program. You could reach us via our official social media platforms to react to any of the conversation we're having on the show. Of course, the segments on the show include the World's Trendy segment where we look at the topical issues uh, that made the headlines during the week. We have the newspaper review and our discussion segment. But of course, it gets better from there on. Where we take the entertainment report with Teofilos Elama and of course, Marco Chabo and the crew will be here to serve us all the latest updates from the world of sport as we look ahead to an action-packed weekend, Kemi. Well, you said it all, and um, you know it's uh, definitely interesting because you know while we bring up it's the Saturday after all, while we bring up all these segments, we cannot, you know, of course, you know, leave out you know major news of the week that know how still reverberates uh, even on a Saturday and are topical to many Nigerians. So you know that. All that you've said and much more are in the open uh, for all our viewers. And let's not forget the laps that are bound to come our way on the show. So if you're ready, we're also ready for this ride. I'm sure everyone is also excited. And of course, you could feel the excitement in my voice as well as we get started on the very first episode of TVC Breakfast on Saturday. Welcome to the program. Well, so much has been going on uh, during the week, and of course, uh, one of the most intriguing and worthy of mention this weekend happened at the just concluded NBA conference. What could have been a pleasurable experience turned out to leave a sour taste. According to the event's poster, the host was Timi Agbaje, DJ Skills, and Vintage Band were built to perform. But of course, of course get what happened. Yes, uh, the Zazu Kruna was the one who showed up. And of course, uh, many lawyers were displeased and staged the walkout when the surprise act turned out to be portable. Well, let's talk about this trending issue. And of course, our in-house analyst and uh, senior producer, TVC News, Emmanuel Ajayi, will be helping us uh, dissect the story. Emmanuel, good morning. Welcome to the program. A very good morning to you, uh, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. And Kemi, wow, it's Emmanuel, <laughs> two Emmanuel on the show. Right. Oh, God, uh, it's a double, yeah, double, double, yeah, it's a double, double wine. Double, and it promises to be interesting, Absolutely. educative, and informative. And that's why we're here to serve Nigerians mm. all undiluted entertainment and sports. Talking Good about to have politics you there, and everything. Absolutely. All right, yeah. Well, looking at. Um, let's, let's start with this portable story. Mm. Uh, uh, I, I thank God we have a Leonard Fellow on the, on the, on the, on the, I mean, on the set this morning. <laughs> Kemi is a trained lawyer. <laughs> and of course, uh, she covered the, the NBA conferences many times. What's the tradition when you're having this pre AGM event? What, what's supposed to be uh, the tradition before now? Because uh, from what we gathered, this was supposed to be a relaxing event Indeed. ahead of the main uh, AGM, which is like the serious part of the conference. Well, 
You are right. Uh, the NBA annual conference is as old as Nigeria. Um, you know, since independence, that is. So, and when you look at the number of lawyers, you know, in the country, more than a hundred thousand. You know, even the president, in his remarks this year, the AGC of this year, you know, noted, you know, the enormous influence uh, that, you know, the NBA as a pressure group, you know, wields on the country. So it's a, it's a week-long event. It started from Friday last week and will end today with the presentation of a communique by the NBA president. That on bad uh, concerts, you know, that happened has now become a tradition. The week-long um, activities that for, um, discuss diverse, um, you know, topics, um, you know, peculiar to the profession and even to the country, you know, and beyond are all going to be discussed. And that Ombad is a social event which has been growing in popularity over the years. Right? All right, Kevin, let's look at the images here. You would mistake this for a Davido concert or mm. not a professional gathering. You would it have. is a body of lawyers body having of a lawyers. good time. <laughs> having a good time. Body of lawyers coming together to unwind and ensure that um, uh, things are being done well after all the um, going to court, turning to cases. Well, it's a week-long event and um, the Unbad Concert is a live entertainment section organized for lawyers as part of the annual MBA conference. But let me start with um, the reaction coming from the MBA, particularly uh, from uh, the National Publicity Secretary saying that um, uh, Habib Kikiola that's um, talking about portable uh, was not paid a dime at this particular event that he was invited by one of their sponsors talking about Obi Kubana and um, uh, seeing him there a very interesting aspect of it is that some lawyers stayed your work out and some stood behind if I, if I would to enjoy me, the beat from here, the uh, I mean let's have this dialogue what is the wrong, what is wrong with the choice of portable performing here I mean is one of the raving artist in Nigeria. You have to give him that credit. I mean, he's made a name for himself despite the fact that many people may not really uh, approve of his act. Mm. But he's not a bad choice. He's, he's uh, perhaps maybe not an A-lister, but he's up there with perhaps those who are making the rave. Maybe because of his personality, when you look at uh, Zazu, uh, we're talking about um, portable. Some people might not be comfortable with such a young man, the way, look at him climbing the poles there. Well, it is well, do, 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 do you do you see? And by the see, way, and by the way, tell me one artist. Tell me one musician. That would go who that's is crazy. Oh, tell me one artist who is even clean in terms I mean, of you know we controversy at the moral free. Yes, before yes. we announce who is going to perform, right? Do but, we now take a okay. look at the? I, I, I mean, is this not an act of being overrageous by the lawyers? With all due you know, you know, you know one I thing. Mean, with, you know, Emmanuel, you know, Emmanuel. Uh, mm. Because if you invited Davido, right. he's got his baggages. And if you invite a whiskey. It's got its baggages as well. And so even at that... What is wrong with having a portable uh, entertainment? Right, right. right. And even at that, Emmanuel Ajay, even at that, even if you bring a, a Davido, for example, or somebody in that you know, category, not everybody will come. Not every lawyer will, will, will come. This is a concept that is mainly populated by the younger generation of lawyers, you know, who are increasingly, you know, having a say, uh, you know, on, you know, how their affairs are run mm. in, in the bar body. Right. Th these are um, lawyers at a, this particular gathering. Mm. You know, one thing with lawyers is that they are well respected. Having uh, a Zazu man here to, to, to entertain them, some were not comfortable with him. But did you think he was uncalled for? Well, maybe because of his um, straight credibility. For, for me, I, I felt having him on stage is a mixed reaction. For some, they felt having him is wrong. That was oh, why what, the state wrong about out. it. From your own, uh, from from. Do you do you country. see do you see an ordinary artist in Nigeria climbing poles like this? But he's known for this. I mean, it's known for this. It's not just doing this at this event. In previous events, they've had one they called to Baba, uh, Tenny, and these lawyers did not stage a walkout. But so, I don't think it was all of them, you know. I, I yeah, some, some stood it wasn't, behind. It wasn't all, and it wasn't majority. 
and it was a fluid show, you know, for, for example, it was a fluid concert. People mm. were coming in. The day had been fast spent. People were coming in and going. And um, from what you said earlier on, the mm. sponsors, it, it, it was a tradition or it is a tradition for the sponsors, you know, to, you know, give uh, the organizers their star artists, star artists you know, yeah. which happens to be portable. portable. And like you said, NBA said they didn't pay a dime, you know, for bringing mm. on board the, the, okay. the, the artist in question. Mm. All right. Uh, I mean, portable, anywhere it goes, controversy seems to follow him. is not new to this. And trust me, the young man seems to be enjoying the attention that is following this um, Definitely controversy. Definitely he's enjoying it. Uh, remember a few months ago, he performed coming out from a coffin. Yeah. And uh, many people were reacting, what's the meaning of this? I, I particularly uh, I mean, there was that. a time he was involved in a fracas with the police. And uh, it came out from uh, after it was granted bill, and the next thing was that I'm not a prison now. You know, mm. it made a track out of that. So uh, I think for whatever it is, uh, the NBA may have just made another celebrity popular. More popular. Indeed, more popular. More popular. More, more popular. More popular. Okay. Well, of course, um, uh, that's uh, perhaps one of the trending stories uh, uh, from uh, the world of, uh, I mean, what's happening across the world. Well, another trending news uh, that is also generating reaction is the coup. A crisis in Gabon. Um, I mean, lots of reaction to that, Emmanuel. Uh, uh, Africa in the spotlight for another very, very worrisome reason. Well, we thought we're done with um, the uh, Niger coup, and we're seeing another one coming from Gabon. And this is a lesson to all African leaders uh, that uh, we need to do things right to give that benefit, that dividends of democracy uh, to those who you are governing. Mm. Uh, seeing that coming on from uh, Gabon, there's something um, we call the seat tight syndrome that is hap happening with African leaders, mm. which we need to nip in the board. When we have such happening, for someone to, to be in the power for over 53 years, in with family. his family, mm. 50, 53 years, it's, it's, it's something that is, well, for me, I feel Kevin is wrong. Why do we keep having this happening in Africa? Why do we keep having this happening in Africa? And when you look at this, some will tell you that it's only in Africa you see such things happening. Mm. Even in the developed world, after spending they, they have a eight, way of dealing with their problems. After spending your eight years, well, we know should, that some, you should. Some, you might just a moment. You should be tired of office. <laughs> well, we have some African countries power, we're talking, we're talking about, but you know, you know, there's what we call you know, trying to adjust them. So reshuffling, that's mm. a very cautious word, Emmanuel. You know, mm. you talk about reshuffling. What we hear happening in Rwanda now. Uh, appears to be something much more than reshuffling. It's a lesson for them. That's now why they are reshuffling the cabinet. Now we're hearing that they're compulsory retiring, mm. you know, uh, um, generals. Uh, and, you know, like President Tinubu said, you know, this, it was Niger a few months ago, and now it is, um, Gabon. It, it is Gabon. And, you know, only who is next? You know, that, that's the question. And, you know, the, the, the problem or the issue now before AU, even though the country stands suspended, that's Gabon now, is, um, you know, who is next? There does seem to be an attraction for mm. this uh, military incursions uh, after, you know, so many years away from governance. Mm. And, of course, the French President Emmanuel Macron has reacted to insinuations that France may be behind most of this coup with many of the, with all the countries involved in Francophone speaking. Mm. Uh, but, of course, Emmanuel Macron has said that there is no, con there is no Burkina Faso, Mali, or Niger yeah. without France. France well, that's definitely. a conversation that we will be monitoring. And let's take a quick okay. break, and uh, we'll be back with the news update. It's TVC Breakfast on Saturday. Welcome to the program.